Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you actually upload an image to your own server without using Firebase. Uh, this is this was recently added in uh, Flutterflow, uh, so it's been like uh, one week or ten days ago, and it's relatively simple how you can do it. So let me show you. I have this project that I'm using all the time for uh, demo purposes. So uh when i uh this is the this is the entry page and when i click on image uh i should go to this page over here which uh where i can uh where i just have a simple button uh which is actually um which is actually uh, the button. When you click the button, you are actually uh, you'll be able to upload the image. So if I click over here and then open the actions, I have a simple action which is says upload media to local file, and we didn't have that before. Uh, so we had like uh, two actions right now. Uh, one is so if I go over here, you can see upload media, and we have two types of uploads so if lo upload a photo or video or upload file uh, so the action that are uh, that I'm using uh, it's called upload uh, media to local file uh, so so it's this one upload media to local file so let me show you if I click uh, if I create a brand new uh, upload because I already set up this one. I don't want to mess that up with this one. So upload media and then upload uh, file, for example. And then we have two types of upload. So now we have Firebase and we have Loco. So Loco, it's the widget state. Uh, it will be uploaded to the widget state and we have the Loco. So if I click Loco, it will get uh, it will say upload file to local file and upload type will be local widget state. So this is exactly what we have over here. And now here uh, we can have, we have the options to upload PDF and this is a new option actually, uh, MP3 file. So with that actually uh, we can upload to the local uh, file, we can upload uh, PDF, MP3s or we can upload also photos uh, as well uh, because if we go over here we can just say upload media and we can have photo and video and here we can have photo and we can also have video as well so it's the same way so now we have four types of files that we can upload photo video mp3 file and pdfs and let's hope that uh, more will come in the future so this is how you set up your action and after you set up this action uh, this is how I set it up it's a very simple setup so I just uh, click on upload media then I click on photo and video and then I click on local so instead of Firebase I'm using the local one and I only want photos uh, what this is what I want I also can enable videos, but I also only want photos. And then when I go to the action two, the action two is a very important part. Uh, it's actually uploading the image uh, to the server. Uh, and this example, I'm using pipeline. So I can use uh, pipeline uh, to just demonstrate uh, what you are uh, going to have when you send this uh, Apico. So Pipeline actually it's creating you uh, uh, a test Apico you can you can test and work around with it. So it's creating you a, a test API error. Uh, it's creating you an API error. It's not a test one but it's uh, just an API error. Uh, error. And then this is the error that was generated from Pipetream and then um, <clears throat> So, so like I said, this is the URL. And then what's the important part is that, is that when you go to variables, right now, uh, the name of the variable that I have is file, and this is a type of local file. We didn't have that before, so this is a new type, and it says local file. And then when I go to body, 
Uh, we have to send this file using multi-part. So we have non-json text uh, x www form uh, row encoded and multi-part. So this is a normal JSON. This is not sending nothing. This is a normal JSON. This is a plan text, and this is like filling a form uh, from uh, from a website. So if we have a form and a website, this is actually the data that it's being sent, like in this uh, format. And this the multi part is actually when you want to send a file. So. Uh, the important part is uh, uh, is that you can actually send a file with only a request. If you want to send some some other data than the file, uh, there is no possible way right now. Uh, I think uh, you can no. I think you can actually send it using. So let me try that. But I think if you want to, for example, if you want to save the name of it, I think yeah, it's it should be still possible. Uh, if I I put a body and put a name over here and then from a variable and then choose the variable name which would be name then let's save this one and then let's go back into my actual action so when I go back to my actual action this is uh, the action is called the uh, backend call and then the name of the uh, action uh, the name of the api call it's uh, upload image and the file we have the file so the file is actually the variable uh, name it's file this is coming from the api and we get it from the variable and when i click over here this is how we get it so we get uh widget state and widget state is not action output so don't make don't mix up those two are different it's a widget state so when you go to the widget state you have upload uh, let's go fire so let me upload it so when you go to widget state uh, it's uh, update file bytes so you click this and then confirm and then we just added name so let's uh, let's say name and then let's say it's specific value specific value let's say this is a photo so let's say my photo that uh, png for example and then with this we should be done let's close this one and let's test it over here okay so finally this is now loaded the test mode i mean so when i click this button uh, i'm getting a gallery over here and then when I click it, I can upload an image, which is a PNG selected. And then the image is uploaded. You can barely see it, but it says success. And if I go over here, you can see that the time, uh, this is the last, uh, the last time that something happened. And I can show you again. So this is, we have three right now. So the last one will go on top. And if I upload the same image again, so if I click over here, gallery, the same image. And then when I go over here, you can see that this is the latest request with the same image. And then this is actually the uh, structure uh, that is uploaded. Uh, and the event at event is that we have a file. And uh, this is the file, this is the encoding. This is the meme type, the meme type, and this is the URL that we're getting. And also we get the name of it. So we can actually send name as well using, and this is my uh, phone PNG. Uh, is this what we actually wrote? So I think we wrote my image, but let's see, maybe I'm mistaken. So, oh, it's, sorry, it's in the action, of course. So when I go over here, and when I go over here, the name, it's my phone. Okay, so it's my phone that PNG. So is that's right? That's right. So we get it over here. And then this is the arrow. So we, if we actually copy the arrow, so if we can uh, copy the same thing or select this the the whole thing, and then right click and go to this arrow. It is actually downloading the image, and the image is downloaded with no. Um, 
uh, with no file type because with the using code uh, you can actually uh, change the file type of the image but this is what you will actually get in the end of the day at the end of the day you should get uh, the image that you can see because I'm using Linux is recognized this is an image and I can just uh, save it to my phone.png and then you can see the same thing so as I said because this is Linux that's why you're seeing it but if it's a Windows I'm not sure probably will not see it because there is no file type uh, but this is what you get and when you up, when you successfully upload upload your image uh, to your uh, uh, to your uh, server, uh, you need code actually uh, to uh, to convert this to an actual image. And for example, if you're using PHP, this is how you actually get it. Uh, this is a very simple PHP code. Uh, so this will be something like that and uh, uh, and the arrow will be actually this arrow over here so I can copy and paste it and you can paste it over here so this will be the arrow and then here uh, you have the file contents so this is actually this will actually get uh, the actual uh, image and put it as a variable and then you need this part of the code so this one this this uh, line will actually put your image inside your uh, local server so we need the path to the local server and then the image name so this image name will be the name can be the name uh, of the image so for example my phone.png and then this is the actual image so this is how you do it in php but of course you can convert this code to any code that you're using javascript or python or wherever you're using for your backend so thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you actually learned something from it thanks bye